Hey guys, my name is Ryan. Today I'll be going over what a CMMS is. Who is it good for? What does it stand for? And what are some of the core features to any CMMS? So let's dive right in. First, what does, a C what does CMMS stand for? It stands for Computerized Maintenance Management System. And typically, a CMMS is all computer based, it's all software based, and oftentimes, it's not only cloud, but it's also mobile, so that technicians out in the field can do all of their work you know, right on the spot. So, in this presentation, we've, we've picked out four core features that any CMMS should have. Work order management, being able to manage work order requests, view a full asset life cycle, and the entire history of that asset, and really group collaboration for the maintenance team. So let's go into a little bit more detail now. What do I mean by work order management? Really, work order management is the preventative maintenance, inspections, the breakdowns that happen, and being able to assign them to technicians you know, at any given point in time. And we're going to utilize a CMMS to manage all of this so that we know who's doing what and when. Your CMMS should be able to assign work orders to individuals and teams that's fast and efficient. And you should really have the full option to customize work orders, being able to assign it to a location, an asset. That way, the technician or maintenance person knows exactly where to go and what to do. So that's really the core of any CMMS. Next, they, we really want to utilize a CMMS to manage work order requests. Nowadays, we know that work order requests can come in from you know, emails, text messages, um, phone calls. There's so many different ways. So a CMMS should definitely help you consolidate where all these work requests in so that you can help, you can prioritize which requests are most important. If we see a critical piece of equipment go down, then we definitely want to prioritize that to the top of our list. With a cloud-based tool, you can also get real-time notifications for when something goes down. You should be able to approve or reject tickets and also be able to get a prioritized list. With the CMMS, it really gives you the full ability to respond to requests promptly from wherever you are. Next up on our list, we have asset life, asset life cycle history. This is a really, really core aspect to CMMS. You should really be able to view the entire life cycle of an asset from when it was purchased up until the date that it gets decommissioned. This is going to give us really good information about why things are happening, you know, what kind of depreciation is going on for particular assets. And it'll also help us create preventative and predictive maintenance schedules. Really, a CMMS is just a big repository of all the data on particular assets so that we can look back at a history and see what happened, why it happened, and what we can do to improve. Again, in kind of more layman's terms, a CMMS is really just the data center for all things related to your asset, all work that's been done, um, what it's made out of you know, equipment manuals, it should all be in this asset. And a CMMS helps you store and manage all of that information in one single, single place. Lastly, we really see a CMMS as a group collaboration tool. I think that CMMS tools don't typically do this too well. But obviously us, you know, we're trying to create a CMMS that is extremely user friendly and actually makes group collaboration within the maintenance team much easier and better. So we basically say that a CMMS should integrate with your entire maintenance team, whether that's the you know, technician at the, at the ground level, or maybe that's the manager who's overseeing and delegating tasks. We really see a CMMS as being this tool for people to communicate and get work requests 
you know, jobs from, um, no matter where they are. And with, with a mobile CMMS, you can really get real-time notifications and really improve that group collaboration aspect of a CMMS. So, you know, that's a little bit about what a typical CMMS is. Now, I kind of want to go over what upkeep is and why, um, why upkeep is the new era in CMMS. So, I'll kick it off with one of our videos about CMMS and why it's different. All right, so Upkeep's mobile CMMS. What we really are is a mobile-first product geared towards technicians out in the field. That means that they can record data, they can capture higher quality, more reliable data by re being able to record in real time. This, they can do this all from a mobile device, whether that's doing an inspection sheet and taking pictures of a piece of equipment that just broke down. Maybe that means getting a notification as soon as a work order is assigned to them. We really see Upkeep, you know, again, as a group collaboration tool that's extremely simple and easy to use with all the same functionality as a normal CMMS, but also being able to modularize all of that with permission settings. It's really a fantastic tool that we'd love for you to check out. But thanks so much for watching, and I hope you lo learned a little bit about a CMS, and maybe you'll give Upkeep a shot. Thanks.